Hello everyone. In today's video, we will talk about a 5-minute scalping strategy. In my opinion, this strategy is the best scalping strategy ever for beginners, advanced, and even professionals. But before we start, make sure that you sign up on the Bibit platform via the partnership link in the description below the video, because soon, we will start pumping signals, copying deals, and many more great features. In this strategy, we will use three indicators. The first one is the parabolic SAR indicator, and it will be the main indicator. The second indicator will be the EMA indicator, and we'll use it to determine the trend direction. The last one will be the squeeze momentum indicator, which is the best indicator according to the trading view votes, and we will use it to confirm the signals. Well, let's start step by step on this blank chart, and let's start by choosing the time frame, which should be 5 minutes. After setting the time frame, go to the indicators and find the SAR indicator. After typing SAR in the search field, several results will appear, so make sure that you have chosen this one, which is located under the technical section. And after applying it, these blue dots will appear on the chart. You can also use the SAR indicator, which was created by Everget. The two indicators have the same settings, and there are no differences between them, except for these symbols, but to explain the method of use, we will use the original indicator only. The usual way to use this indicator may be correct, but it is not accurate, so we will use it in a professional way, but first, let's explain how to use it in general. Legend says, when we see, the first blue dot, that is appeared above a red candle, we sell. And when the first blue dot, appears under a green candle, we buy. This method may be correct and successful as well, but not always, here we see the emergence of a sell signal, but unfortunately, the candles are headed up instead of headed down. Well, when you use this indicator in this way, you will get an accuracy of more than 40%, according to the strategy attached to the TradingView website, but what if we use it in a professional way, what will those results be? To know more, let's say we were trading here and we were waiting for a buy signal, which is the first blue dot under the candles. Now we see the appearance of the first blue dot under this candle, so, should we buy? Of course not, and instead of buying now, we will use the horizontal line to determine the last selling blue dot that appeared above the candles just before the first buy dot appears. Let's understand more. First, we must wait for a blue buy sign to appear under the candle. Second, we must look for the last blue sign before the buy sign, and it will be this one here. Third, we put a horizontal line on the sign. Finally, if this line is breached, we enter, but if the candles bounce down, we do not enter. In this case, the horizontal line will be here. Now, if this line is breached by a candle's body or part of the candle's body, we will enter, but if it is breached by a candle wick or ribbons down, it will be a false signal. As you can see, the line has been breached with a large part of the candle's body, so, we will enter. Well this is the correct way to use this indicator, but now, how to use it in short positions. Let's start from this example here, to see the false signals first, then we move to the short positions. Well, here the first buy sign appeared, under this candle here, so, we will look for the last sell sign, and put a horizontal line above it. As we said, if this line is breached by a candle, or by a part of a candle's body, we enter. But as you can see, this line has not been breached, so it is considered a false signal that has been eliminated. Now we see the emergence of a sell signal, so we will apply the same conditions, but in reverse. And this means, we will look for the last buy sign, and put the line on it. Here the situation may be a little different, because when placing the line on the last buy sign, we see that there is a red candle, that has already broken this line. In such cases, entering into short positions will be directly at this candle, that broke the line. Well I hope the explanation is clear, and to increase the clarification, we will take other examples, before starting to explain the final strategy. Well let's start with this example here. Here we see the appearance of a buy sign, so we will look for the last sell sign, and we will put a horizontal line on it. At this moment, the line has been broken by part of the candle body, so this is a valid signal, and we will use it. Here also, we put the line on the last sell sign, and we buy when it is broken by a candle or part of a candle. And here, the same thing happens, we put a line above the last sell sign, and wait for the line to be breached as well. This was all about a SAR indicator, and how to use it like a pro, but with all that, false signals will remain our staunch enemy. 
and to eliminate the rest of these false signals, we will use another indicator. For this, let's open the indicators box. And let's look for the EMA indicator, you can use any EMA indicator you want, but I recommend this indicator, especially for free accounts, because it contains all the moving average lines in one indicator. Well, after applying this indicator, let's adjust the settings. Because this indicator contains several types of moving average, we must choose the EMA line from here, from these options, and secondly, we change the period to 100, as for the color, you can choose the color you want. We will use the EMA indicator to determine the trend, when we see, that the candles are above this green line, we will look for buying positions, but when we see, that the candles have become below it, we will look for selling positions. As for the range movement, in which false signals abound, you will see the ability of this strategy to avoid such situations. Now let's start explaining the buying positions. Here we see that the SAR indicator has given a buy signal below this candle, and we also see that this candle has closed above the EMA line. In this case, we will look for a buy position, but before we buy, we must put the horizontal line in place, as we learned at the beginning of the video. After running the player, we see that this candle has broken this line, so with these conditions in place, we will enter directly into a buy position. And as you can see, there has been a good rise in the price. Well that was the easy example, but what about this chaos, and how do we deal with it? Here we see a buy signal, and here we see the last sell signal, so let's draw the line on the last signal, as we learned earlier. And after putting the line in place, you will find that, it is located below the exponential moving average, and this means, it is a false signal, and we will not use it. Here also we find an entry signal, below this candle, so we will look for the last blue sign, in the previous else signal, and then, we will place the line. We also find that the line is under the EMA indicator, and this is considered a wrong entry, so it will be cancelled as well. Even here, although it was a successful signal, but we must avoid entering below the 100 EMA line, especially if you are a beginner. Let's go ahead, and see some valid signals that we can use it in long positions. Here we find that the SAR indicator has given a buy signal below this candle, and we find that part of this candle is almost above the EMA line, so we will put the line as we learned, and if we find that this line is above the EMA line, we will wait for it to be breached, but if it is below the EMA line, we will cancel entry. And since the horizontal line was above the EMA indicator, we will wait for the breakout, and then, we will enter. Here also we find an entry signal from the SAR indicator, and we see that this signal is above the EMA line, so, we will look for the last sell signal, then, we will put the line. And indeed, this line was breached, and the price flew higher. Looks like I skipped this signal, so I paused the video to explain it. Well, here above this white arrow, we find the emergence of a buy signal, so we will put a line on the last sell signal, and wait for the breakout. But as you can see, the candles did not cross the line, so it will be considered as a false signal that has been eliminated. Let's see more, so that we can understand most of the situations we face when trading this way. Here is another buy signal, so we will put the line above the last sell signal and wait for the breakout. The breach occurred, and the price rose. Here the example will be a little different. Here we find a buy signal above EMA line, and this is good so far, so we will continue and put the line as we learned earlier. But here we find, that the wick of the candle, is above the line that we set, so do we enter directly? Yes we can enter directly because part of the candle body is above the line, but if it is only wicks then we do not enter. Let's finish the rest of the examples quickly, here is also an entry signal, so we will put the line and wait for the breach. Here too, although the profit is small, it remains a successful entry signal. And here we find another full signal, because when we put the line, we don't see that the candles have crossed it. This was all about entering into long positions, but keep in mind, although entering under the EMA 100 may be successful sometimes, but I advise not to enter under it, unless you are a professional, and know the way to exit in time. Call signals can be eliminated even under the EMA indicator, as we see here, and profit can also be made, but as a beginner, do not enter below the EMA line, until you master the strategy correctly, and then, you can do whatever you want. Well let's move on to the last part of this strategy, by adding, the squeeze momentum indicator. Just type SQ and the indicator will appear to you. 
This indicator is considered the best indicator according to the evaluation of the members of the TradingView, and personally, I consider it one of the best indicators so far. Well, let's try to explain the confirmation method quickly so that we can move on to the short positions. For example, here we find a buy signal above the EMA line, so we will place the line as we learned earlier. The signal did not cross the line, which makes it false, but also by looking at the momentum indicator, you will find that it is in the red zone, and this is another confirmation that it is false. Here too, we find an entry signal that has breached the line we set, but to make sure, we wait for a green bar to appear in the momentum indicator, and then we enter. And this means that it is better to enter here at this candle. The use of the momentum indicator may be in several ways. When we see that the red bars are becoming less in size and changing their color from light red to dark red, this means that there is a possibility of a price reversal soon. Therefore, these areas in this indicator are the most important areas. Sometimes we do not have to wait for a green bar to appear to enter a buying position, we just see that the red bars have become very small, and each new bar is smaller than the one before it, and this in itself is a good sign. Well, here we find a short position signal, so we place the line as we learned, and we wait for the breakout, and when the breakout is done, we check the momentum indicator. Here too we find a sell signal, but no breakout occurred until another signal appeared, so we will check the new signal. As you can see, all the signals were successful, even the ones I missed. Now let's talk about take profit and stop loss in this strategy. The risk to reward ratio should not exceed 1 to 1.25, except in some cases, by adding EMA 12 and EMA 9, and we will explain it in a separate video. Well, after finding the entry signal, and placing the line on the last exit signal, we will determine the take profit and stop loss, the stop loss will be, under the last candle in the previous exit signals, which is the same candle, that we drew the line above it. Also, since the stop loss candle is very close to the EMA line, the stop loss can be placed on the EMA line, or just below it. As for taking the profit, as we said, 1 to 1 and a quarter. And this means, that the profit will be taken here. As we said, we can use EMA 12 and EMA 9 to continue taking profits, but for lack of time, I will explain it in another video. Well let's take another example, because taking profit in this strategy may be slightly different. Well here we found an entry point, so we will place the line as we learned, and wait for the breach, and the stop loss will be placed at the same candle that the line was above. Now when you look at this area, you will notice that there are candles, between the breakout candle and the stop loss candle, and these candles are lower in price than the stop loss candle, so, we will adjust the stop loss according to these candles, and take the profit will be as we said. Here also we find an entry point, so we will put the line and meet the rest of the conditions. And the stop loss will be below this candle, which is the same candle, that was at the end of the previous L signal. and take the profit will be as we said, which is, 1 to 1.25. Well that was it, only when checking with the momentum indicator, try to have a compatibility between the breakout and momentum, even if it is not in the green zone, at least it should be at the end of the red zone, when the bars become very small. Finally, what if we use this strategy on large frames, such as 1 hour or more? I won't say it's a no-loss strategy, but test it yourself up to a million times, and see the results. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.